Hello again from Alation Productions. Uh, today I will do a quick video to show you one of the uh, latest modifications I've made on my tag micro lathe. As you can see here, I've got a customized tailstock lever which I built for it. The uh, purpose of the lever is as improvement of a stock one which I'll show you right here. The stock tailstock lever is just a piece of 8 inch thick bar stock with two holes drilled into it. And you know that comes out it's less than five inches long and it's got these real they're not sharp sharp but they're, they're not smooth. They got these hard edges on these levers here that dig into your hands when you put a lot of pressure on it. And that's why I built myself this improved one. This is all uh, stainless steel I got a piece of flat stock here with the holes in it for the part that mounts to the tail stock and I welded on a piece of 3 8 inch thick uh, solid stainless rod which is thread at the end you can see for putting a nice one and quarter inch ball end on it for much much more comfortable grip and this lever here is about uh, about seven and a half inches long by comparison so you can see it gives me a little bit more leverage for you know really pushing in to something while I'm drilling you know, but without being real real far out you know a couple feet long making it too long either where it's going to catch when I walk by or just provide too much leverage where you're tearing stuff up but uh, anyhow that's, uh, that's the lever that I made to improve the stock one. And if you're interested, I'll have a link in the description below. And I'll put up on in the image, real quick at the end of the video, a uh, schematic I drew up if you're interested in building one yourself. And also, I've had a decent amount of success selling these on eBay, too. You know, other people out there seem to like the design. And uh, seems to work well for them, which I'm glad of. But if you're capable of building one yourself, I'd encourage you to do it yourself first. And if you have any comments or questions about how to do that or about this video, uh, please feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks again for watching. Till next time.